Welcome to Solar. This tutorial will demonstrate some of Solar's best underlying capabilities. We will show an example that demonstrates Solar's performance and speed that doesn't require you to sacrifice the quality of your work. In this example, we will use the dots operator and a masked image of a moving hand that we will use a bit later. Dots creates a field of round objects. In Solar, use is only limited by your imagination. You can adjust the generated field in infinite ways. You can adjust the distance between them, change the dot's size, define the distance deviation, change the deviation in dot sizing, color, chance for appearing, and so on. Let's press play. You can adjust all the settings in time as your material plays. A few seconds of adjustments can give you the same results as a couple of hours of tedious animation by hand. All parameters in Solar can be adjusted and animated in time. As we change the settings on different points in the timeline, while the dot sequence is playing, the animation effects get more sophisticated. Let's change the color of the dots, adjust the hue and saturation deviation to get multiple colors and shades in just a fraction of a second. We can play with settings like brightness and alpha to fine-tune the effect. Bottom of the dots settings panel contains a few handy predefined presets for the dots operators. Using presets, you can quickly apply desired settings to an active operator. You can of course create your own presets, saving your current operator settings as a preset with just a single mouse click. The thumbnail for the preset will be generated automatically. We spent a lot of time designing operator controls and settings to make them extremely efficient and easy to use. In place of dozens or hundreds of option sliders for every effect, sometimes we have only a few. But those few give you more possibilities and better, cleaner, more intuitive control over your work. Okay. Let's go back to our default dot setting. Click fit to fill the preview area. Let's switch to our hand mask. Click on the settings panel button on the in. Switch back to dots control panel. Let's change the size of the dots field a little bit. Click fit again to show it all. Let's connect our in to the restrict mask connector in dots. And now we see the dots field restricted by the hand shape mask. Let's fine tune our dots to make the hand shape more defined. Adjusting the dot's distance and size, we can change the intensity presets to further adjust our animation. Playing with the settings can give us exactly the look we are looking for in our creation. To achieve something very sophisticated, you can use only a few basic settings and voila, an animated particle hand. Zooming in and out shows finer details of your adjustments. You can animate everything smoothly over time. You can adjust all the settings in time as your material plays. A few seconds of adjustments can give you the same results as a couple of hours of tedious animation by hand. Let's go to something else. We think this is extremely cool. Let's bring in another fresh dots operator. Fit it into our preview area. Let's set the width of our field to 10,000 pixels, height to 6,000, which gives us a 10K image and 60 megapixel resolution. Let's click fit to see the whole thing from a distance. It's huge. We can barely see any details. Let's change the dot size and distance a bit to better see the detail. And let's hit play. There you go, a 10K image animated in real time. Don't forget, in detail, it's still sub-pixel quality. Let's go a bit higher. Set the field width to 100,000 pixels, height to 60,000, and a 100K image, 6,000 megapixels. Click fit, see the universe of dots. You can zoom in to an individual dot and see it in detail. Hit fit again. Let's adjust the dot's size and distance to have a better look. Change the colors and hues to spice things up. As we adjust dot settings in time again, our 100K, 6000 megapixel image gets animated in real time. Let's double click the preview area to zoom our test image to full screen. Hit fit to fill it properly and enjoy the show. That's all folks. Visit lightstream24.com for more post-production products, demonstrations and tutorials.